the president and all of his people and all and and others have been throwing out this idea well he was entrapped he he was told not to have a lawyer this and that they asked him about it today the judge was like i, I got to put this stuff to rest and the judge said did you commit this crime did you commit this felony did you lie or did you not lie were you entrapped in some way no sir i lied well do you would you like to withdraw the guilty plea because if you were entrapped i mean that's a whole different thing nope I, I lied, I'm guilty, that's it. Let's turn to Bob Bianchi now, a defense attorney and former prosecutor. Had that not been part of the mix today, had just the defense come in and the, and the prosecution come in and said, here's what we've agreed to, little to no prison time on the lying on this one specific thing, lying in this one particular matter about your contacts with the Russians, poof, they, the judge, you know, as normally happens, as almost always happens, the judge says yes. Of course, the judge has his own discretion, and today's judge backed up and goes, whoa. This is bigger than that. This is operating with the Turks against the wishes of the United States. The judge is looking at not just the document here. He, he made this bigger because of the argument that the White House is making, no? Yeah, Shep, when, that, when the sentencing memo came out and indicated that he was being prevailed upon by the FBI, it wasn't fair, any right-minded defense attorney would be saying to themselves, what are you doing? Yeah. Just be quiet. be quiet because now you're putting the judge in a position because the judge was exactly correct. I cannot sentence an innocent person. And if there's a defense here and it hasn't been raised, plus he gave all that political fodder yeah, if, for if, the if, president's if, if, if they pressured you not to have a lawyer, if you have a defense like that, let's work it out. Absolutely. And he goes, no, I'm guilty. Let's do this. You know, I think, Shep, in my heart, what the defense was trying to do is to say, hey, judge, sentence him to the probation. Don't yeah. give him any jail time of because of these extenuating circumstances. But anybody would have known they put the judge in the spot where he has to say, well, are you guilty or aren't you guilty? And when, he's, when the judge then saw what we call, Shep, all the other relevant conduct, the turkey stuff that he wasn't charged for, and he got the most lenient plea that he could have gotten. But that's from what happens when you cooperate. Yeah. And the exactly. government is going, judge, we're not going to put it all out here yet because we can't have it all out here yet. But he cooperated on some big, big stuff. And that's the reason we're only going to ask for almost nothing on this one thing of lying, but there's a lot more. Right, and, and the sentencing memo forced the DOJ and the special counsel in particular to now defend itself with regard to the allegations of misfeasance. And now the judge sees all that data. It's now in the public forum. The judge was left with no other opportunity. Now remember something under the plea Turning here. to the flag. <laughs> yeah. Dis, di, disrespecting everything that this flag was about, General Flynn. Well, you're, you're, you're trying, look, one administration gets transitioned into the next administration. That's the orderly change of government that we have. So when the Obama administration put sanctions on them for interference with the 2016 election, it's not your job until you're in office to be discussing those sanctions. That's number one. And then they were involved in this and whole And lying turkey. about the discussions. And of course lying And about not it. accidentally lying. Li saying he didn't even know about them. He said he was away on holiday, couldn't see the TV, and at the same time was calling people reportedly KT McFarlane of the transition mm -hmm. team, we can't confirm that, down at Mar-a-Lago going, hey, what do I say to Kislyak? Nobody has said they directed him to tell a lie. We don't have that information. Yeah, Flynn's an army guy. He's a chain of command guy. He takes orders. He, I don't think he's a rogue person that way. And when they're having those communications at Mar-a-Lago, and then he is now in contact with the Russian ambassador talking about the very sanctions that were issued that day, that's a problem for anyone, that anybody would see that that is an issue here. And then to go and lie about it, well, you know, the cover-up is worse than the crime a lot of What's times. What's going on here? What, what does this mean for Flynn and the president and everything else moving forward? Well, I'll tell you. You see, what, what I was surprised at, and I have the plea agreement in front of me right here with Flynn. He did not enter into what we call an 11C1C plea, which essentially says if the judge accepts the plea, you could, the prosecutors and defense can agree to a determined sentence, and the judge can't deviate from the sentence. That's not done here. So the judge can add all sorts of what we call relevant conduct, which is the stuff that he's bringing up, the turkey thing that you didn't get charged with all this other stuff is aggravating the case and he's basically telling them essentially I'm going to put you in jail and people think it's only going to be for six months the judge can go beyond it this agreement very specifically clearly states that the agreements between the prosecution and the defense but it does not bind the court to go higher so this was a big problem all started by that sentencing memorandum and the political people that decided they were going to take advantage of that in order to attack the Mueller investigation and by extension the court yep Bob Bianchi, thank you. There were at least...